This morning, the southern border's migrant crisis marching on. This video capturing the largest caravan in more than a year. An estimated 8,000 men, women, and children in Chiapas, Mexico, near Guatemala. All of them headed north. Organizers say the group swelled by nearly 2,000 people in a single day. Many hoping for a better life. Many more road-weary and exhausted. The caravan moving as the Mexican president welcomes U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The Mexico City meeting set for later today expected to focus on the unprecedented irregular migration and border security between the neighboring countries. The visit following a recent phone call between President Biden and Mexico's leader. The two leaders agreed that additional enforcement actions are urgently needed. It comes as the number of migrants in cities across the country are reaching record levels, with New York City seeing up to 4,000 people arriving each week. Local shelters and services overwhelmed and struggling to keep up. We have no more room in the city. Meanwhile, on the ground in Eagle Pass, a surprising lull in crossings Tuesday, following a record-breaking week, where thousands of migrants lined the banks of the Rio Grande, and processing took hours, if not days. Outside a shelter, we met Osmani, Marian, and Edison. Don Devon Aora, where are you going now? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Dallas. Marianne from Venezuela says she's now waiting until her asylum hearing. Para cruzar. After a five-month journey here, she describes similarly to so many other migrants we've heard from. A dangerous, potentially deadly track that in her mind is worth it. And Morgan, of course, we're heading into some colder months now. In fact, we're already really here now in December. How are cities preparing to manage? Yeah, Laura, they're absolutely having to get creative. We know that in Chicago, the state is sponsoring hotel rooms for migrant families there. While in New York City, a tent encampment on the very outskirts of the city has just opened up that at one point was used as a campground. And we know that in some cases, migrants are now forced to leave a shelter after 30 days and then reapply. Every inch of available space in incredibly high demand now. Laura. All right, Morgan, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.